Sejin here. So Google finally released this long-awaited AI image generator using the Imagine text-to-image diffusion model. And I'm going to show you what this is all about and compare it to its closest competitor, OpenAI's Dolly 3. If you never tried Google Bard image generator, you don't want to miss this video. So if you like this sort of content, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Let's dive right in. Okay, let's get started. Open up a browser and go to bard.google.com. Click on Try Bard. Scroll down the terms and privacy conditions until you see the I agree button and click it. Click continue and you're in. What's great about BART is that it's 100% free with unlimited image generation while Dolly 3 is limited in the number of daily image generations. Let's jump right in with a simple prompt. Generate an image of a futuristic car driving through a snowstorm. Okay, the first two came out pretty nice. It does look futuristic and it's definitely in a snowstorm. You can download the image by clicking the download button. The next two I'm not too sure. One looks like an egg pod and the other looks like a giant truck. Currently all images generated are 1536 by 1536 but that will change in the future. Now if you compare the image generated by Dolly 3 using the same prompt, Dolly 3 does slightly better with the futuristic style but more importantly it rendered a snowstorm perfectly. Google Bard has a strict safety measure to prevent the creation of images that could be misused. Generate an image of Bart Simpson. Okay, it can't generate images of kids or minors due to its image generation guidelines. But then it gives me this. Maybe it's a glitch. And it doesn't work if I try to generate more of it. I asked Dolly the same thing and it gave me this. All of Google Bar's images have invisible watermarking with something called Synth ID. This means that Google can track all images to their creation point, basically enhancing its ability to identify AI generated images. Not really a fan of this idea, but moving on. Generate an image of Elon Musk. So it can't generate images of that, I'm assuming because it's Elon Musk. I asked Dolly the same thing and it gave me this. Doesn't look like Elon, but points for generating something. Let's try this. Generate an image of someone who looks similar to Elon Musk. And reject it. So you can't generate images of famous people or people with influence. Let's see how artistic it can be. Generate an image of New York City in the style of Van Gogh. These came out pretty good. It definitely looks like a Van Gogh piece. But if you look at what Dolly created, you'll see that Dolly is much more vibrant and rich in color. So how about some cyborgs? Generate a beautiful AI cyborg in a realistic style. Out of the four, the first one came out pretty good and the third one is not so beautiful. Dolly killed it with this one. Wow. How about we design a logo? Generate a logo design of a futuristic AI robot, vibrant colors with the text Sejin AI. Not quite a logo, but at least the fourth one has the proper text. And I really like what Dolly did using the same prompt, except the J is missing. Super sleek and vibrant colors. Dolly takes this one as well. Now with all these images generated, the next logical step is to animate it. So make sure to watch this video. 